Woodland Park High School will have private armed security guards this year. This after the local police department informed the school district it can no longer provide an officer to be on duty. News Channel 13's Tyler Cunnington spoke with Woodland Park superintendent and residents today to gauge their reaction to this decision. Tyler. Yeah, Barton Heather, Woodland Park High School begins classes next week and students will now see private security guards patrolling their hallways. Thankfully, school administrators got word well ahead of time they wouldn't be getting that officer from the local police, which allowed them to plan for their change in the budget. They are uh, visibly armed uh, and they will be uh, mobile about our schools. Woodland Park High School will now have multiple armed security guards to ensure their campus stays safe. That's because administrators learned they wouldn't have a student resource officer or SRO provided to them by Woodland Park Police due to staffing shortages. But as that coverage was changed, uh, we had to make certain that we are providing a secure learning environment for our students. Whitney explains the district knew well in advance they wouldn't have the officer this year and planned for a, quote, significant investment this school year. This was contemplated and properly budgeted. Witt did not say how many armed guards there will be or which security firm they will come from, but he said there will be more guards compared to the previous solo officer. They will be trained uh, either former law enforcement or former military law enforcement or uh, someone that has been properly qualified and trained. One former Woodland Park student who just graduated this year expressed some hesitancy but liked the idea of having multiple guards. I would feel slightly safer. I, I wouldn't trust them, but I would trust them enough to protect me. I mean, I felt safe with the cops there, but there would be more of the guards. One woman I spoke to works at Gateway Elementary, located right in front of the high school on the same property. She says her daughter would soon be joining her at Gateway and welcomes the decision in the event of any emergency right up the hill. I think it's a good idea, you know, um, and with her being so young, it's, it's nice to know that she would be protected if something did happen. Now, Superintendent Witt did not provide a figure today as far as the total cost to the district, saying only that it's, quote, reflected in the budget appropriately. Reporting live in studio, Tyler Cunnington, KRDO News Channel 13.